uh, there Jesus uh, gives us a reference uh, saying that uh, uh, regarding uh, the abomination that make a desolate you need to study from the book of uh, Daniel in Matthew 24 chapter uh, verse uh, 15 uh, uh, Jesus says that one so today we are going to take some time and uh, study about that one in the book of Daniel. As you all know, we studied about the book of Daniel 7th chapter in our initial basic classes. So in Daniel 7th chapter, we just recreate a few points and immediately go to the main point. So in Daniel 7th chapter, Daniel is shown a vision where uh, the four beasts came out of the sea. And the four beasts were totally different from uh, one together. The first beast was like a lion. It was having, uh, you see, uh, feathers uh, as of a bird. Okay, can somebody read uh, Daniel uh, uh, 7 4? Can somebody read Daniel 7 4? Okay, I will read. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. I beheld till the wings thereof were plugged, and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. Very good. So, here you see that, uh, you see, uh, the uh, it was like a lion having uh, eagle's wing. You see, this was the first beast. And the second beast was like a bear uh, having his one shoulder lifted up while the other shoulder was uh, lifted down. And it had uh, three ribs uh, in its mouth, it seems. Uh. So, kindly read verse 5 also, brother. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it rise of itself on, on sight. And it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it. And they said those unto it, Arise, they were most slaves. Very good, brother. So, arise, devour much, uh, you see, flesh. So, this was the second beast. And the third beast was like a leopard having four heads and four wings of a bird. Read verse 6, brother. After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a foal. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. Very good. See, uh, dominion was given to it. It had four heads, uh, you see, and uh, four uh, wings of a bird. Okay, so it was like a leopard. So the fourth beast was totally different from all the other beasts. In that, the fourth beast had horns upon his head, it seems. Read verse 7 and 8, brother. Verse 7. After this, I saw in the night visions, and behold, a uh, four beast, uh, dreadful and terrible, and strong, exceedingly, and it had great it pieces, and stamped the reshoot with the feet of it, and it was uh, diverse from all the beasts that were there, uh, there for it. And it had ten horns, and consider the horns, and behold, there come up among them another little horn. Therefore, whom there was three of the first horns pick up by the roots, and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and mouth speaking great things. Very good, brother. So here, the fourth beast had uh, ten horns upon his head, it seems, and... A little horn began to grow in between the ten horns, it seems. And because of it, three horns were plucked out by the roots. And this horn was so special that it had a mouth of a man. And it had, uh, you see, eyes of a human being. So this is the fourth beast. So what is this one? We studied in the initial classes. That is four, uh, you see, beast represents the four universal empire. It is also mentioned to us uh, in uh, Daniel's second chapter in a multi-metallic, uh, you see, human structure. So both uh, signifies the same thing, the four universal empire. 
one from the human standpoint, other from the God standpoint. From human standpoint, these worldly empires is a multi-metallic, beautiful human structure, a beautiful human government. But from the sight of God, it is a beasty empire. You see, very ferocious, devouring the families. You see, destroying people' lives. So here, the main thing what we are going to study about is a fourth beast and a little horn that is going rise upon the head. What is the meaning of it? Daniel himself gives the explanation of the horns in verse twenty-four. Uh, can you read verse 24, brother? Okay. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise and another shall rise after them. And he shall be divorced from the first and he shall subdue three kings. Very good. So here the ten horns means what? You see, the Bible is his own dictionary. It gives us the own expression they are saying that uh, the ten horns represents the ten kings, the king, ten kingdoms. So even today, you see, the European continent is represented by the ten different countries, you see. And among them, you see, a small horn began to grow. Because of it, the three horns were plucked up by the root chips. So which are these three you see, places that were completely rooted out because of that one horn, little horn, is Heruli, Eastern Exarchate and Osirgods. So these three horns were completely rooted out, making way for the little horn which had the mouth and the eyes of a man. So which is this little horn? You see, this little horn is a papacy system, the great antichrist system. You see, that began to grow upon the Roman beast. Therefore, it is called as the Roman Catholic Church, dear brethren. You see, so this beast had a mouth of a man and eyes, you see. So what did it do with his eyes? And what did it do with his mouth? What did it speak? That is given to us in verse 25. Please read verse 25, brother. Okay, and... He shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the signs of the Most High and think to change times and I was uh, laws. Okay, sorry. Times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of the time. Ah, you see. And he shall speak great words, it seems. So with the mouth, what did he do? If you see, he spoke great words against whom? Against the Most High. That is what we read about the great Antichrist system in 2nd Thessalonians. 2nd chapter verse 4. You see, when we read initially, he says, no, whoso opposeth himself, he exalteth himself above all that is called as God. You see, he sitteth as God in the temple of God. Which is the temple of God? We are the temple of God. He sits as a God among the church, inside the church. He behaves like a God among the brethren, among God's children. That is what Daniel says. He shall speak great words, pompous words against the Most High. And what will he do? He will wear out the saints of the Most High. That means he will persecute the God's children and kill them and destroy them. And you will think to change the times and laws, it seems. There are so many things which are given in the Bible, but he will change everything, it seems. And God would give, you see, the Antichrist a particular period to do all these things, it seems. It says, he shall be given into their hands for time, times and dividing of times, it seems. So, dear brethren, so what are the things they changed? What are the things they spoke against the Most High? If you see, dear brethren, the primary thing is the idol worship. You see, so we can see very the you see uh, abomination thing which uh, God doesn't like at all. Detestable thing is that uh, doing idol worship. Uh, idol worship is totally forbidden in the Bible, dear brethren. And God gave the Ten Commandments. Uh, you see, the Ten Commandments clearly say that you shall not make any idol of any sort in any means. Uh, 
Pagkatapadiyab rin, you see, the Roman Catholics, uh, you see, the papacy, the Pope, uh, completely changed the Ten Commandments. Uh, it gives to, it is given to us in uh, Exodus 28, chapter verses 1 to 18. No, to, no need to read, you can uh, refer to it later. You see, if the Roman uh, Empire, the Roman Catholic, the paper system completely changed this Ten Commandments. They removed this Second Commandment about idol worship. So if you remove one from uh, Ten Commandments, what will happen? Nine will remain. So people will ask, no, God was given uh, Ten Commandments. Why only nine is there? So the last question, no? so what did they do is that uh, the Tenth Commandment they divided into two. What is the Tenth Commandment? You shall not covet your neighbor's house. Nongar, uh, her, uh, his wife, uh, they divided into two. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Then, you shall not covet your neighbor's uh, house. Uh, you see, they divided into two, dear brethren. See, dear brethren, this is how they thought to change the times uh, and laws of the Bible. Well, the Bible clearly says that uh, idols should not be worshipped. Uh, you see, Pope, uh, you see, yeah. you, he knew that all these things are very false. You can see clearly in this video that Pope clearly confesses that the papacy system, you see, this is the great Antichrist. And they actually manipulated the Ten Commandments and changed the Ten Commandments of the original which was God given through Moses and changed it to suit their, you see, uh, uh, their worship and all. Because, uh, you see, dear brethren, they worship idols, the dead uh, person's idols. The Bible says that a uh, dead person should not be worshipped at all. Clearly, we've seen that one in the subject of soul, that the soul dies. Uh, the dead person neither worship nor, uh, you see, praise God. You see? So, it is clearly written. See, it's a, uh, huh? he clearly claims that I am the man of sin that is written in the Bible. I am the great antiquary system. You see, dear brethren, uh, so, this is a very clear proof uh, that uh, they have changed the times and laws. Uh. You see, they constructed a very religious places. Uh, uh, Vatican City. You see, in India, if you come, there are two religious places for Roman Catholics. One is Valangani, another is Pota. In their lifetime, at least they should go once to these places. Why? And they go and shave off, complete their head, give off all their heads to God himself. Why? Because, oh, that is very holy place. Huh? Eh? Who is the holy place? We are God's church. We are the church. We are the holy place. We are the holy priesthood, royal priesthood, holy nation. What did Jesus say to the Samaritan woman? Huh? You see, she said, uh, we need huh? to go to the mountain to worship God. What did Jesus say? A time will come that, uh, you see, huh? that uh, he that worship God should worship him in tru truth and spirit. No need to worship. Uh, go here and there. Uh, this is how they change the times and seasons. Next, Christmas. You see, we are clearly seen that Christmas is not there in the Bible at all. You see, Christmas means what? Uh, the birthday of Jesus Christ happened in December 25th. Where is it given in the Bible? That Jesus was born on December 25th. It is nowhere given in the Bible. Jesus was actually born in the first week of October. We have clearly seen that one in the subject of the Lord's Supper. You see, Christ uh, died uh, in the month of Abib, in the month of April. He lived on this earth for uh, 33 and a half years. You see, 33 years and 6 months. That means, uh, 33 years and 6 months before, he should have born on this earth. Uh. That means, which month uh, he was born? If he comes 6 months uh, from uh, April, we won't get December, dear brother. We will get October. Uh. Dear brethren, that itself is a clear proof that they have changed the times and laws to suit their customs. You see, Christmas, Santa Claus, where is the Santa Claus is mentioned in the Bible? You see, and the Christmas tree, did uh, Jesus or Mary bring on Christmas tree and decorated it, all these beautiful decorations and all? No, dear brethren. Regarding this Christmas tree and all, we got on subject, uh, you see, we will see God willing one time. About Christmas only the subject is there. Then, you see, in Christmas, what is famous? Uh, they all put a star you see stars, so everywhere you see stars is there, stars. Oh, star means what? Oh, Jesus is born. Why? Because star guided uh, the three, you see, huh? messengers uh, to the birthplace of Jesus. So star is actually from God. Dear brethren, Bible clearly forbids to see the stars in the sky. 
You see, we have seen that one in the spirit of soul, King Saul. What did he do? He went and uh, contacted a witchcraft, you see, to speak to the dead. What did God say? You should never speak to the dead, not be wandering, not be, you see, astonished at the, you see, stars of the sky, dear brethren. So that was totally forbidden, dear brethren. But today, they are all doing this. This is totally against. That star is not actually from God. If that was from God, it would have directly guided the three messengers directly to the place where Jesus was born. Instead of uh, guiding them, after they moved out from the Herod's palace, why? It was not for them. It was for Herod to come and kill Jesus. Hence we see that after these three persons went out, God guided the three persons, don't go in the way of Herod, escape in different way. Immediately God uh, guided through an angel to Mary saying, please escape from this place, Herod is coming to kill the child. This is a clear proof that that was the devil's movement to move the star to kill our kid, uh, baby Jesus, uh, dear brethren. Dear brethren, this is the way they change the laws, the times. Next, uh, Good Friday. Uh, Jesus, when he died, was a Friday. But how come every year it will come on Friday itself? You see, your birthday, if you are born on Saturday, every year will it come on Saturday. Next year it will come on Sunday. It might come on Friday also. You see, dear brother, but uh, they stuck on to Friday because Friday, oh, holy day, very holy day. They don't teach non-vegetarian on that day because Jesus died. Where is it given in the Bible? Huh? Then the Lord's memorial supper. You see, the bread and the wine. Huh? When do they take uh, the Lord's memorial supper. Supper means what? It should be taken when? Morning. Supper means that which is taken sometime in the evening. But today, none of the churches follow this one. They all do it in the morning itself. And okay, when they do it, huh? monthly ones, first week, because already everybody got salary, you know, to pull everybody to the church, they give this one to attract them. But everybody can also offer, you see, offerings. Devadran, you see, Huh? Then, what? Huh? Then, huh? doing it huh? weekly. Huh? Some people do it daily also. We have studied this one elaborately that this has to be done yearly once, not monthly. Because Jesus died as a Passover lamb. Passover was celebrated in Israel only yearly once. So similarly, we need to celebrate this one only yearly once, dear brethren. This is how they change the times. They change the laws, they change the doctrines that are given in the Bible itself. And then next to Easter. Huh? Where is it given in the Bible that about Easter? No word Easter comes in the Bible at all. You search in the Bible. Only in King James Version, in Acts 12, chapter 4, verse it comes. Actually, that word is also wrong translation. So it should actually pass over. You see? Then, November 1st, they claim it as All Saints Day. You see? All Saints Day means what? All the saints, all the holy ones who are died, all the relics, the clothes, the pen, the book, all those things will be kept there in the churches. If somebody goes and touches them, if somebody goes and kisses it, their sins will be forgiven. Dear brethren, that is all souls saints day. Next, November 2nd is all souls day. All souls day means what? All the dead souls will come up on that day. Near the graveyard to eat their delicious favorite food. What does the Bible say? Soul dies. Until Jesus' second coming, the soul doesn't wake up at all. All the dead are sleeping. Then how can you go and tempt them and giving food and offering prayers and doing worship at the grave? Does it make any sense? Dear brethren, this is how they change the laws of the Bible. The totally doctrines were changed, dear brethren. Next, St. Mary's Feast. You see, eh? I don't know about Nepal, how they do it or not. In India and Europe, you know, if you go, very big procession goes on the other end. Oh, yo, big charity is pulled where Mary, Jesus statue is there. You see, you see, where is it given in the Bible? You see, then confession. Do all sorts of sins and go and confess all your sins to the Father. Father, if he forgives all the sins, will be forgiven. Then rosary, you see. Now, prayer, uh, you see, keep on uh, using that, uh, you see, uh, uh, you see, uh, the chain, the garland, you see, 
Uh, keep on repeating the same words. Uh, what does Jesus say? Use not vain repetitions uh, like the Gentiles who know not God. You see, then indulgences were sold. You see, claiming that if you pay so much of amount, uh, immediately your soul will be transferred from uh, hell to heaven. Your grandfather who committed uh, so much of crime is today suffering in hell. But if you pay the amount now, immediately as your amount falls to the, you see, dumb box, immediately soul will be transferred from hell to heaven. This is what the theory they claimed. It is because of those offerings the Vatican City is today is built. Then, speaking in tongues. Dear brethren, huh? uh, doing miracles. Uh, about tongues, we are clearly seen. No? Tongues mean what? Tongues is an understandable language, not a language which nobody knows. Miracles, the miracles which happened during the days of Jesus, what is happening now, is it one and the same? Jesus healed 100%. Jesus healed everybody. But today, no 100% miracle happens. Not everybody are healed. Dear brethren, this is how they change the laws, the doctrines of the Bible. You see, and the Bible during those days was in a dead language, Latin language, which none of the common people understood. It was only the highly scholar people who could read and write Latin. None of the common people can understand. Imagine if I come and speak to you in Sanskrit, can you understand Sanskrit? No. This is ancient language, dead language. That was used to happen in the days of the Antichrist. They used to come and preach in Latin. Nobody understood nothing. No Bible was there. Bible was not allowed to give unto the people. If anybody translated the Bible, they used to kill them along with the Bible and burn them alive. Dear brethren, this is how they began to wear out the saints of the Most High. Persecute them and kill them systematically. Holy Inquisition was done. What do you mean by Holy Inquisition? Holy means very pure. Inquisition means what? Inquiry. You see? A very holy inquiry in the name of Lord. You see, they used to visit each and every house and say, Pope tells these all doctrines. Do you believe it? They have to believe it. If they don't believe, in front of their children, parents used to be killed. In front of their parents, children used to be killed. They used to be smashed to the rocks. You see, they used to be persecuted. Their clothes and all will be removed, made naked, made them shame. You see, dear brethren, their mouth was stitched. Their tongues were peeled. You see, dear brethren, they were nailed, you see, to the boards. For lifelong, their eyes were plucked out. All the, you see, uh, body, wherever the holes were there, you see, like uh, nose, mouth, ear, you see, eyes and all, they used to pour hot tar, it seems to be, or hot oil, very, very hot oil, burn it and pour it uh, until they confess that the Pope tells the truth. They used to peel their skin, you see, pluck out their nails, uh, pluck out their teeth, uh, Give heavy torture, dear brethren. They were all made to live in dungeons. You know what is a dungeon? Dungeon means a very small place, uh, just by two by three place, like a suitcase. They used to jam pack and live in their own dear brethren, for years together. No water, no food was given. They had to live in their old filth. All the worms, uh, you see, the rats used to come and eat them. They used to get all sorts of diseases and all. And uh, they have to live in that one until they agree to the doctrines, the false doctrines of uh, the Pope. Hence, today, everybody are believing the false doctrine that hell is a place of torment, soul doesn't die. You see, the Lord's memory has to be taken whenever we want until he comes. Keep on taking it. Dear brethren, Trinity, all these false doctrines. You know, whenever they used to give torture, a doctor is to be next to them, it seems. Doctor is to certify, oh, you're supposed to die, stop. Then they'll stop the torture, it seems. Again, doctor will give treatment. If he gets well, again, they'll start all this torture, it seems, brethren. This was all done in the name of Christ. And they used to do all these paintings 
and put it outside on the road it seems so the people may fear the pope and uh, you see they should tell this is hell this is what uh, is god is going to do to you all in hell if you don't agree hell is next to heaven this is how the hell a place of torment theory came into picture where is given in the bible no where is given in the bible thousands thousands millions of christians were slaughtered dear brethren therefore it says uh, you see uh, they shall wear out the saints of the most high dear brethren you see recently pope you see confessed all these mistakes in apologize for the whole world saying what all they did in the dark ages was wrong dear brethren many of the godly saints who were persecuted during those times who burnt alive who put to dungeons you see made to be fed to the lions they all songs beautiful songs during those time so many songs which we sing today now like for example all we all to jesus we surrender you see all to jesus i surrender i surrender all these songs were sung by these brethren when they were dying dear brethren to increase their faith to stay strong in the lord dear brethren this is how they changed the laws changed the doctrines in the bible persecuted god's children christians do into christians this is the great anti christ system what did daniel say he said god will give them to a particular time god will hand over them you see to be persecuted that means anti christ was given a time to rule what is the time where is it given Daniel seven twenty five. It is given. Read, brother. Daniel seven twenty five. Read, brother, please. Okay, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the signs of the Most High, and think to change times and uh, and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until our time and times and the dividing of time. Ah, time, times, and dividing of time. That means what? Three and half time. Time means one. Times means two. Dividing of time means half time. That means three and half time. Now, what is the three and half time? Dear brethren, you see, three and half time means actually three and half years. Okay, I'll put it to you. It is given in the Bible. We will see just shortly see where it is given in the Bible. Okay, the same period that is mentioned in Daniel seven chapter, it is also mentioned in Revelation six twelve chapter sixth verse. 12 chapter 14th verse and 13 chapter 5th verse so kindly read all these verses sir can anybody read uh, if uh, uh, peter brother is not able to read can ashish brother open the bible and read all these verses brother okay brother first is daniel should i read from revelation 126 revelation 126 and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of god that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days revelation 12:14 and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent revelation 13:5 and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months very good so here if you see the same period is mentioned in three different angles one it is mentioned in three uh, time times and half a times three and half times but uh, you see that same time is again mentioned in number of days it is again mentioned in the months also so what does it mean if you see dear brethren the three and a half times is actually three and a half years it is actually 1260 days and it is actually 42 months how how do we check it let us cross check it whether we are teaching right or not okay now uh, 
in one month how many days are there who can tell me how in one month how many days are there 28 or 30 very good okay but as per the bible in one month there are 30 days so 30 days in one month means for 12 months how many days it will be how many 360 very good brother 360 days okay for one year 360 days means for three and a half years how many days it will become calculate use the Two. mobile okay uh, 360 3. into three and a half 3.5 1260 very good so 1260 days that is what is mentioned you see, we just now read now, eh? in Revelation now, eh? 12, 6, 1260 days, same period, see. So, three and a half years is equal to 1260 days. Now, okay, 1260 days divided by 30 days you make, you see. Eh? That means uh, in uh, one month, there is 30 days, no? Okay, now 1260, you see, divided by 30 days, you make, how many months you will get, you see. 1260 divided by 30. I have 3 and a half. 1260 divided by 30. Divided by 30. Ah, 3 and a half, correct? No? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, that's a reverse calculation. We have confirmed that our calculation is correct. Now, okay. Now, what you do? You see? Huh? 1260 divided by 42, how much you will get? 42, 30. 30. See, that means our calculation is correct. So, 42 months, you see, is equal to 1260 days. It is equal to 3 and a half years. So, this is the period of Antichrist. Now, did Antichrist, uh, the Pope rule only for 3 and a half years? Uh? Brother, no, 3 and a half years, but it was a very great period now. So, what is the 3 and a half years? You see, many people misunderstand this verse only and, and claim in future, Antichrist will come. In three and a half years, he will rule on this world. No, dear brother. It is not literal three and a half years. Why? Because this is a prophetic language. Pope ruled more than three and a half years. We know very well. So, for a prophet, one day means uh, how many years? That one we need to study from the Bible. Correct, no? Uh, now, let us read Ezekiel 4.6, brother. It is given in Ezekiel 4.6. How many years means one day for a prophet? And when, when thou hast accomplished them, them lies again on the right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah uh, forty days. I have appointed the each day for a year. Ah, each day for a year. That means one day means one year for a prophet. So one day means one year means 1260 days means how many years? 1260 years. Correct, na? No? One day is equal to one year means 1260 days is equal to 1260 years. Correct, na, no, brother? Yes. Now, this is the period of Antichrist. Now, okay. From when did it start? When did it end? It started from 539, ended in 1799. How, how do we say 539? Because, you see, the Bible verse says, the little horn came because of which three horns fell. When did this happen? If you see in the history, it happened in 539 AD. That was the year the Lord's memorial supper was done every day. Until then, it was only once a year. Remember, from 539 AD only, the Lord's Memorial Supper was to be done every day. You see, so what happened? From 539, that Antichrist came to power. From there, if you add 1260 years, we will get 1799. We can add and see. 539 plus 1260. Please add and see whether how much you will get. 
539 plus 1260? 1799. Correct. 1799. So what happened in 1799? 1799, the Pope's great power ended. How? When? When? If you see, you see, huh? Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte is actually a, a mistake. Uh, it is not Martin Luther. It is Napoleon Bonaparte. Next time I'll correct, in the, I'll correct it in the slide. Okay. Napoleon Bonaparte arrested Pope Pius VI in 1799. Why did he arrest? You see, Napoleon Bonaparte was the emperor. He began to tax everybody. Even tax the Pope. Pope said, I won't pay any taxes. I'm like, God, who are you to put a tax on me. Then even after giving a lot of summons, uh, Pope did not agree to Napoleon Bonaparte. The Napoleon Bonaparte uh, went to arrest Pope. Pope said, in my left hand there are curses. If I, if I curse you, immediately you will be burnt out. You will be gone into ashes right in front of me, he told. Then in the right hand, there are all the blessings are there. You see? So Napoleon Bonaparte saw he took both of his hands and handcuffed him and put it on his back, you see, and made him to, you see, huh, go around all the city of France uh, in 1799. You see, everybody saw Pope, hands being cuffed, you see. Then uh, everybody came to know that what all Pope is telling is a lie. Pope is not telling the truth. He clearly knew, dear brethren. You see, everybody came to know the Pope was, you see, not all the Pope claimed that in his hands there were curses, in his hands there was blessings, was all fake. So that time, the power which Pope had all decreased. You see, so 1799 was the end of papacy super power rule. You see, so this is given to us in uh, Revelation 13 chapter also. So let us read, uh, you see, Revelation 13 chapter where it is given about a, a, a beast which came out from the sea. Uh, let us see how that beast was. Uh, Revelation 13, 2, brother. Revelation 13, 2, brother. Please read it, brother. And the beast which I saw was like upon a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his hmm. seat and great See, this beast was not like an uh, ordinary beast. It was different. It was like a leopard. Body was like a leopard. Huh? Feet was like a bear. You see, mouth was like a lion. But uh, dragon gave the power it seems. Now, uh, uh, we here uh, read about four beasts. Now, where did we read about this four beast? Uh? You see, huh? Daniel, huh? seventh chapter, we just now read now. Huh? Lion, bear, Leopard and uh, great dragon. We already studied in Daniel 7 chapter. Just now we studied, no? So, this beast is a four in one beast. There, the four beasts were separated, but here it was four in one beast. This is the papacy system. It had all the power of the, all the four universal empire. First of all, you see, the body was like a leopard. You see? Huh? Leopard means which country, which uh, kingdom, if you see? It's a uh, Grecian empire. The Greeks were famous for knowledge. It's given in the Bible. You see? The leopard body is full of spots. So wherever you go, you see, the spot is there. So similarly, the Roman Catholic churches, wherever you go in the world, the whole world, everywhere it is there. Even if you go for a remote village, on a hill, what is there? Uh, the Roman Catholic Church is there, dear brethren. That is uh, the colonies of the churches. Then, you see, its hands were like a, you see, bear. Huh? Ooh, hands and legs were bear, not mouth. Why hands and legs like a bear? You see, because, you see, if uh, a bear catches somebody, it won't leave at all. It's very difficult to escape from the bear. If you climb a tree, it will climb. If you dive and, uh, you see, swim uh, inside the water, it will come there also. If you climb mountain, it will come there also. If you run, it will also run. Only way to escape a bear is to lie dead. 
pretend as if you are dead uh, surrender to it uh. similarly the great privacy system once if it decides to capture somebody it won't leave at all therefore you see uh, majority of the roman catholic will they come to the truth uh? will they read the bible they don't read the bible at all they very firm in that one that is the hands then ah uh, lion lion's mouth you see what is lion famous for roaring if it roars the sound is for jungle 2 km 3 km sound will come even today the papers is false doctrine is roaming you see all around the world dicos of the roman claims soul doesn't die immortal soul hell is a place of torment all the false doctrines you see what all doctrines is today is heard in every church it is all because of this mouth of a lion now who gave the power the roman emperor gave the power that's the reason it is called as roman catholic or else where would have been a catholic power dear brethren and suddenly what happened to this beast read brother revelation 133 brother ha revelation 133 brother ha and i saw one of his head and its were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world uh, wounded wondered wondered after the beast ha ah, you see what happened uh, you see uh, suddenly its head was wounded it seems sir How was it wounded? By the sword, it is given in verse fourteen. Okay, by the sword, its head was wounded in such a way that the whole beast was supposed to die, but it did not die. When did this happen? If you see, dear brethren, during Martin Luther, who started the Reformation, who revolted against the Roman Catholic system, who protested and came out. Therefore, they were called as Protestants. they claim that the pope is antichrist all the doctrines are wrong they came and uh, had a pure doctrine head was wounded it was almost dead but uh, it came back to life you know when when the protestants who protested and came back uh, you see they did not stand in the truth uh, firmly they began to dilute they also began to preach the same false doctrines which was preached by the roman catholic church dear brethren therefore if you go to the churches today anywhere in the world all the roman catholic doctrines are there in all the protestant churches there is no difference at all only one difference is there that is about idol worship apart from that everything is ditto same to same therefore what happened that wound was healed therefore antichrist means what it is not only the roman catholic system it is including the protestant denomination dear brethren the both the protestant denomination and the roman catholic system is a great antichrist system therefore you see it is given in revelation only where in revelation 13 chapter read verse 11 brother hmm. okay and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he speak as a dragon right see he here we see a lamb coming out of the earth it seems this is the protestant denomination you see having two horns that had 10 horns it has two horns it seems you see pride huh but uh, lamb should speak like jesus no jesus is a representation of the lamb no his word should be like jesus no sweet uh, soft but how did he speak uh? he spoke like a dragon the roman catholic beast same ditto same doctrine no changes at all everything is the same dear brethren you see they also believe the same thing they also believe the same thing you tell me what difference is there between roman catholic and protestant today except idol worship nothing everything is the same therefore both are corrupt now read verse 13 what is the, what does this protestant denomination do hmm. and he doeth great wonders so that he make fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men ah so he doeth great wonders that lamb 
do great wonders make fire come down from heaven in sight of all men make great wonders means what great miracles you see so that it makes everybody to worship the beast you see verse 14 mother and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast huh? saying hmm hmm saying to the de- same to them that dwell on the earth and they should make an image to the beast which had the wound wound by a sword and did like good you see what does it do it seems uh, miracles suddenly you see uh, miracles happening from past 120 years 150 years why was there no miracle during the papacy period because satan very well knew that all the people were in his clutches but once the papacy period ended satan knew very well that the protestants are revolted they are protested and gone out the truth will go to everybody so he want it doesn't it didn't it did not want the protestants to carry the truth to counterfeit it he began to do false miracles therefore dear brethren whatever the protestant denomination doing miracles in the name of christ is fake it is not of god it is all you see of the devil therefore he should not be trusted see bible clearly speaks then what he will do it seems next you see reverse 15 ah and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause the, that as many as who would not worship the image of the beast should be killed mm he should not be killed then next brother verse 16 ha huh? 16 mm and he cause all both small and great rich and poor free and born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead ah oh, receive the mark on their forehead on the right hand ha huh? you see and who doesn't have that mark they can't sell and buy read verse 17 ha huh? and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name number of his name what is the number verse 18 hmm. here is wisdom let him that had understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man hmm. and his number is 600 three score and six see triple six ha huh? everybody believes oh this is the triple six oh seal of the antichrist so war has the seal on their head and their hand only they will be allowed to do what business in the market or else they can't buy and sell everybody thinks brother this is the barcode brother without barcode brother you we can't do any business at all brother ah huh? this is the memory chip brother because of this verse uh, falsely understanding you tell me what benefit does it matter to satan if he eat food or not he is not worried about that one at all he is only worried about our spiritual growth how much spiritual food we eat how much spiritual food we give he is much worried about that one only so chetan is completely deceiving everybody into wrongly showing about the triple six so how do we see this triple six what is this triple six see the answer is given in that verse itself where read verse 17 brother 17 uh, one minute one minute sorry verse 18 brother read verse 18 the answer is given there only slowly you read one by one we'll understand and go ha ah. here is wisdom ha ah. that means what yeah. here is wisdom this is not direct language you can't simply take directly triple six there is a wisdom there is understanding there is a knowledge there is a secret inside it okay now how do we understand how do we calculate what is the secret continue let him that had understanding count the number of the beast ah see they have to count the number of the beast not simply read triple six they have to count it seems what is that count it says the number of the beast that means beast is having a number 
Beast we saw is the Antichrist system. That means Antichrist is having a number. Now, what is that number of the Antichrist? Uh, you see? Huh? Now read with that. Continue. Huh? For it is the number of men. Correct. And, number of men. Huh? And his number is 600. Huh. 600? Three score and six. six. Uh, uh. Now, what is this? Uh, you see, a number of the beast. Uh, where is it given? The number of the beast. Read verse 17, brother. It's given there. In the last, it is given. Read. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the num name of the beast, or the number of his name. Huh? Name of the beast, or number of his name. That means his name is having a number. Beast name is having a number. That means beast is having a name. And in that name, there is a number. And it is wisdom to calculate it, to count it in the name of the beast. Now, okay. Now, what is this one? You see, Pope is having so many titles. One of the titles which Pope is having is Vicarius Filidi. Vicarius Filidi. What does it mean? It means in, in the place of Christ. Christ is not there. He went to heaven. Instead of Christ, we are there. That is the meaning of that word. It's a Latin word. Vicarus Filidi. So, Pope claims that he is son of God on this earth. He is instead of Christ. Now, in this one, there is a huh? number. You see, what does the Bible say? Huh? The number of his name. In this name, there is a number. So, we need to calculate. How do we calculate? See, in Roman numericals, we know that each and every alphabet has a number. Correct, no? It is not there in any other language. Only in Roman is there. See, it's a Roman Catholic. So, Romans only have made it. You see, Vicar was Philidi. It's a Roman, you see, word. Now, V, letter V in Roman stands for how many number? Five. Five. Very good. We have studied in the school. Good. I means what? One. 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 Very good. C means how much? Hundred. Hundred. Very good. A. A means nothing. That means that doesn't have a number. That means zero. Okay? Sorry. Again, R. R means what? It doesn't have anything. Zero. Then again, I. I means how much? One. 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 Now, V. Actually, it's the wrong uh, uh, type there. Actually, it is Vicar Vasfilidi. Okay? V. V means how much? Five. Five. Okay. Now total vicar yes yes means zero. So vicar was if we total we'll get hundred and twelve. Correct? Huh? Yes. Okay. Now come to Philly. F means nothing. So zero. I means how much? One. One. Very good. L means how much? Fifty. Fifty. Very good. I means how much? One. Again, I means how much? One. Ah, so, total 53. Correct? Huh? Mm -hmm. Correct? Huh? Philly means yeah. 53. Correct? Huh? Yes. Now, let us come to D. D E I. D means in Roman numericals, how much you know? 500. 500. Very good. So, D means 500. E means nothing, 0. Again, I means how much? 1. 1. So, 501. Now, you total all these three. 112 plus 53 plus 501. How much you will get? 663. Ah, 666. This is the uh, name of the beast. Vicarius Philidi. Instead of Christ. I am God. Sitting as God in the temple. That is the meaning of this name. See very clearly. This is abomination against uh, God dear brethren. This is the number triple six. Whoever has this number, you see, huh? only they can sell, only they can buy means what? Only those who believe in the false doctrines of this uh, Protestants and the papacy, Roman Catholic system, only they are allowed to preach in the church. You see, if I come to Nepal, will anybody church pastor allow me to preach in the church? No, they will ask, oh, do you believe in Trinity? 
we say we don't believe in trinity we are not jehovah witnesses but we would don't believe in trinity they will tell no get out first uh, why because the beast number is there in their hand in their head uh, only those who believe the false doctrine they are allowed to preach in the churches dear brother therefore the truth what you are learning here have you ever heard anywhere in your lifetime no no you can't even hear also because this is totally banned but this is the truth dear brother therefore it says the seal is upon their head head means what ha huh? if i say you don't have head what do you mean by that one head means what intelligence understanding knowledge correct no head means what understanding dear brethren so those who believe these false doctrines about the trinity about the immortal soul about the hell a place of torment you see about the tongues miracles all these things are the triple six seal which they put themselves upon their own head you see no seal will come and be put upon your head if you just believe those doctrines it is like putting the number you see upon our head accepting those doctrines giving our heart to those doctrines believing those things means that we are supporting the system that is the you see mark upon the head now what is the mark upon the hand if he lend to the system if he support to the system if he contribute if you offer offerings to the false system the false roman catholic church and the false protestant denomination it is like supporting the evil activities the false doctrines dear brethren imagine so many truths are there everything they are violated and none of the truth is there in any of the churches you imagine you see the seal is upon everybody said the seal is upon everybody's hand dear brethren one who has this seal can never rule with christ they can never have the heavenly salvation see the bible says not me read revelation chapter 20 verse 4 revelation chapter 20 verse 4 and i saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto unto them and i saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of jesus and for the word of god and which had not worshiped the beast neither the his image neither he neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they live and regain with christ a thousand years ah uh-huh. you see ha huh? who are there who are, who are those who are going to live and uh, rule with christ for a thousand years sir uh? those who did not worship the beast you see those who did not have his image though those who did not receive his mark upon the forehead those who did not receive mark upon his hand that means what those who did not receive his false doctrine those who did not support to the evil system only they can rule with christ dear brethren if you are indirectly supporting the civil system by believing it oh no no brother is saying all these things i who wants all these things oh, let me still keep on believing the what our pastor said oh yo lazarus as soon as he died he went to heaven beggar you see huh where did he go huh huh rich man where did he go you see rich man went to hell lazarus was in heaven both were speaking together if you still believe all the false doctrines what is meaning ah it is like putting seal upon our head our hand you see giving contributions offering helping uh, these false churches it is like putting a seal we can't rule with christ dear brethren we can't serve two masters we need to decide we want a truth or false And what is the seal that should be upon our head read revelation 14 1 brother okay and i looked and Well, a lamb stood on the mount Sion, and with him a hundred forty and forty thousands, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Hmm. You see, how much is there? 
वन लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड वट इज देर अपन देर फोर एड उसम इज देर ऑन द फोर एड बदर फादर्स वेरी गुड फादर्स नेम करेक्ट ना ना व्हाट यू मीन नेम हाँ इफ आई टेल डू यू नो बट द बिष्णु इफ आई टेल इम्मीडिएटली बट द बिष्णु व्हाट कम्स टू योर माइंड आ बिष्णु बट द कैरेक्टर हाउ बिष्णु बट द इज हाउ गुड ही इज दैट कैरेक्टर इम्मीडिएटली विल कम टू योर माइंड सो इम्मीडिएटली नेम इन द बाइबल ऑलवेज मींस कैरेक्टर द मीनिंग ऑफ नेम इन द बाइबल इज कैरेक्टर यू सी सो God's character should be there in our mind. God's name, you see, God's plan, God's truth, everything, what all the character is there that is there in the Bible. That should be there in our mind, dear brethren. Only those people who have this character of God in their mind, in their heart, you see, only they can rule with Christ. Without knowing God's plan, without knowing the truth about the Bible, you see. Nobody can attain heavenly salvation. So, dear brethren, this is about the great antiquated system. So, you please read the notes. Any doubts, any questions you have, you please ask without any hesitation. Any any doubts, any questions, brother? No, thank you, sir. Bishnu, brother, any doubts, any questions? Um, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, please go through once. Okay. Any doubts? Please don't hesitate. You see, we we are open for discussion. Right. We love discussions. Yes. We want you all to know the truth. So we have no benefit yes. in this one. We yes. don't take any offerings. It is freely given. God has freely given to us. We freely give it to you. So please yes. learn this truth. Please share this truth to many Christians who don't know. So many people are in ignorance, dear brethren. Please yes. do the Lord's work. You see. Please do the Lord's work. Free, free to do it. God will give you. God will give you sufficient. What do we want for just living on this earth? Even sufficient of food, good clothing, and good shelter. God has promised all these things. Let us remain faithful to God, faithful to His truth. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Any doubts? Any questions? Please come.